Okay, welcome everyone. So today we are going to solve the equation that is shown on the screen right now. So in this screen you can see we have been asked to solve 10 theta plus 10, 2 theta plus 10, 3 theta equals to 0. Now here I am going to solve it. Have a look at this. So before doing this you should know the formula of 10a plus b. If you know the formula of 10a plus b then that will be easy for you. You need to know this 10a plus b is 10a plus 10b by 1 minus 10a into 10b that's the form of a 10a plus b so i'm going to use the form of a 10a plus b here later on so i can write this equation as 10 theta plus 10 2 theta plus now in place of 10 to theta i'm going to write here 10 theta plus 2 theta in this way so i'm going to further solve the equation uh, i'm going to write 10 theta plus 10 2 theta as it is this will be as it is. Now here I am going to use the formula of 10a plus b. So when I use the formula of 10a plus b, it is going to be 10a plus 10b by 1 minus 10a into 10b equals to 0. Now I can take 10 theta plus 10 to theta common. So I am taking 10 theta plus 10 to theta common because it is here also and it is here as well. So I'm taking this common. So after having taken this 10 theta plus 10 2 theta common, I'll be left with 1 plus 1 by 1 minus 10 theta dot 10 2 theta equals to 0. Now I can write this as as it is multiplying each other. They are the form of factor and after equals to this 0. So we can write this as 10 theta plus 10 to theta equals to 0 can be written as 10 to theta equals to minus 10 theta okay can also be written as 10 to theta equals to 10 minus theta or can be written as 2 theta equals to so in terms of 10 we use n pi so n pi minus theta can be written so for the solving it 2 theta plus theta equals to n pi this is gonna give us 3 theta equals to n pi so we're looking for the value of theta so theta is going to be n pi divided by 3 now in the same manner here i have 1 plus 1 by 1 minus 10 theta into 10 to theta is equals to 0 so this can be written as now uh, this can be written as 1 by 1 minus 10 theta 10 to theta equals to so if i take this one on the other side this will be minus one can be done this way so it can be further written as so i'm going to cross multiply it so i can write this at 10 theta 10 to theta i'm just cross multiplying it minus one multiplies to minus 10 theta 10 to theta so one minus one multiplies to minus one is it's minus one so now i can write this as now I can write this as 1 plus 1 is 2, I can write this 2, 10 theta, I got this minus 1 before and added with this 1, so it's 1 plus 1, 2, so 10 theta is already here, now in place of 10 to theta we can write the formula of 10 to theta, the formula is 2 10 theta by 1 minus 10 square theta. Now I am cancelling 2 on both sides because uh, they are multiplying each other so they can be cancelled, so after cancelling it I will have 1 equals to 10 theta into 10 theta by 1 minus 10 square theta now i'm going to cross multiply it 1 minus 10 square theta equals to 10 square theta so this is going to be 1 equals to so it's 10 square theta so if i take this minus 10 square theta on the other side it is going to be plus 10 square theta so it's 1 equals to 2 10 square theta so i'm writing it uh, in this way i hope you're getting it so i can write this as 1 by 2 equals to 10 square theta so ultimately 10 theta is going to be plus minus 1 by root under 2. now this can be written in this way so here is 10 theta equals to plus minus 1 by root under 2. i can write this as in this way 10 theta equals to 10 theta into 10 inverse plus minus 1 by root 2 this can be written in this way so simply what did i do is i wrote here 10 theta into 10 inverse so this is same as writing as plus minus 1 by root 2 so you, 
I can write 10 theta into 10 inverse instead of plus minus 1 by root 2 I can write 10 theta into 10 inverse plus minus 1 by root 2 so basically for our convenience we can understand that 10 theta into 10 inverse is simply like 1 that is for our understanding only just for the sake of understanding we can assume that 10 theta into 10 inverse is 1 similarly we can also assume that sine theta into sine inverse is also 1 so with that uh, easy convenience we can do this so it's simply uh, cancelling 10 on both sides we will have theta equals to 10 inverse plus minus 1 by root 2 or or uh, we can conclude uh, we have to add n pi after this just like the way we added here because in terms of 10 we need to write here n pi so i hope that you understood so thus our final answer is theta equals to n pi by 3 or uh, and it can be written as n pi plus 10 inverse plus minus 1 by root 2. So that is our ultimate answer. Thank you.